today it's a World Human Rights Day. Uh, people all over the world who are victim of human rights violation and who are oppressed are coming together to mark this day. And uh, we, the three Tibetan non-governmental organizations, are here to mark our uh, World Human Rights Day and to show solidarity with the people all over the world who are oppressed, who are victim of oppression, and uh, who, who are victim of human rights violations. So we are doing a photo action to create awareness among not just uh, people here but people all over the world watching this. Uh, what's happened in Tibet in last one decade has been critical. Uh, we have 1.2 million Tibetans who are killed till dead and 1.2 million Tibetans, uh, Tibetan children who are subjected who are separated from their families and are forced into Chinese colonial boarding schools. More than 1, 1.2 million Tibetans have uh, involuntarily their DNA taken by the Chinese government for bio, uh, bio censorship and bio, uh, uh, yeah, bio censorship. So uh, this is a very critical situation right now. And also we have about one point, uh, more than 1 to 2 million Tibetan nomads who are displaced from their own land. <laughs> Uh, today is the International Day of Human Rights and uh, it's also a celebrated day for all the Tibetans because it's the 33rd anniversary of the confirmation of Nobel Peace Prize to His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. And on this auspicious day and symbolic day, we are here to mark the day, particularly the Human Rights Day because we know the human rights situation has been deteriorating since the Chinese occupation has started and it has all worsened over the last few decades and especially in the recent uh, few months we have seen how under the brutal regime of Chinese communist regime and Xi Jinping Tibetans inside Tibet are, continu are continuously suffering you know and it's not just Tibet right now it's the people of East Turkestan, it's the people of Southern Mongolia, it's the people of Hong Kong, Taiwanese and now we, what we are witnessing is People inside China, they are now suffering as, at the same time they are raising, rising up and raising their voices against the uh, communist regime. So at this crucial point of time and history, it's very important for all of us to make this and form this allyship and tackle CCP and hold them accountable for all the atrocities, for all the human rights violations that's been uh, happening and done under the repressive policies of CCP. So here we are here to amplify the voices of Tibetans inside Tibet and all those communities and people who are currently suffering under the regime. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't